Good morning, sort of. It's not really a good morning. Last night, um, when I got home from the hospital with Arabella, after she went to bed, I went to Kmart to get some stuff, and while I was there, I saw a lovely follower called Tash. Hi, Tash. <laughs> um, who saw me looking like pretty much this, like... Right. Crap. <laughs> I'm very tired. Um, and obviously everyone knows that I've been in hospital. And um, what you don't know is that my daughter also had surgery on Wednesday. She had her tonsils and her adenoids out. So I've essentially not been home for a week. And... Um, Obviously, I was at the hospital with her. I've woken up this morning because she was awake from 2 to 5 a.m. last night. And I am... Husband gave me a sleep in. Obviously, I had the day off. Well, sort of. I did plan on going in for a couple of hours because, of course, I don't have any leave. Um, and I'll make up the rest. I have enough leave to make up some of it, but... It's just hard, you know what I mean? Like, it's this really hard balancing act. If you've got kids, you guys will probably feel me here. So they get sick because they're in childcare. My immune system's compromised, so I get sick because they're sick. But I've had to take leave already for them because they're sick. And... Then there's no left, there's no leave left for me. And then I go and have to take unpaid leave. Um, and managing fatigue is just so freaking hard. Like, I'm exhausted. He's, Shannon's awake and got Arabella this morning so that I could get some sleep. I just don't want to go out there and have to deal with anyone and everything. Life just feels... It's really overwhelming at the moment sometimes. Like, I, obviously, I've had some significant deaths in the family recently. That's also contributed to my leave. So a little while ago, I've been the healthiest I've ever been in my life. And I finally was able to accrue some leave. Woohoo! Everyone knows what an achievement that feels like. <laughs> What's it like having leave? I've already forgotten. Um, and then with mum, my adoptive mum passing away and having to be there for um, her last few days. And then my grandma passed away, both in South Australia and I live in Western Australia, so it's interstate for me. Don't I look so gl glamorous with my hair? My fringe is all... Anyway, light in the mood. It's it's just all of the um, all of the time that oh, I managed to accrue. It's just already gone. So how do you manage fatigue? Fatigue when you don't have a choice and you have to keep going. Because let's be real, in today's society, majority of us are still freaking working despite the fact we're chronically ill. We don't have time, we don't have the ability, we don't have the financial freedom to not work. So how do you guys manage fatigue? Me, um, we have sort of like a rule in our family that because Shannon works shift work, so we only actually see him every second weekend. When he's home, I get the sleep in. <laughs> Just because he he can get up. He's fine to get up and go back to sleep. And, uh, sorry, and stay awake. But I can't. I just, by the weekend when he's off, I'm wrecked. I just need to sleep. My spoons are in negative, major negative. 
on a daily basis anyway. So my weekend sleep, sleep in, which doesn't always happen, but occasionally it does, it really helps. Um, what else do I do? Whinge. <laughs> I probably whinge a lot. My friends and family are probably sick of me saying, when they say, how are you? I'm exhausted. I'm absolutely exhausted. So tired. And you can probably hear Shannon's on the phone out there as well. <sighs> but I've just woken up and felt like popping in and saying hi and chatting and getting some tips off you guys. Maybe you guys can help me here. Maybe we can help each other. Don't be afraid to ask your partners for your sleep-ins or um, be honest. Um, be honest with how you're feeling. It's, it's very important. I don't believe in this um, uh, mentality of not telling the truth because we have to be the martyrs. We generally are because we're awesome. We're the chronically ill warriors. Um, but it's also, <coughs> excuse me, it's also important. See, I'm getting run down. I'm losing my voice. <coughs> it's really important to just be honest as well. And honest with yourself. And take your time and, and know your limits. And make sure that everyone follows those and understands that and respects that. Anyway, see you guys.